Hi, an update on the AERL uh, batteries here. I finally, well, we, um, <laughs> Peter from AERL, uh, who remote de desktoped in today um, to fix that uh, Raspberry Pi uh, compute module that was on the, uh, you know, that was on this board here. Anyway, uh, we've updated all that. We installed the software remotely and finally got the thing working. So rate my bodge setup. Uh, we've got the finally got the gateway working here okay but i've still got a problem with the ethernet at home here so uh, temporarily we're um we're uh, using an external 4g modem here for internet just for that <laughs> just for that um because well it can't connect it, we do have ethernet internally apparently on the uh, cm4 module but uh yeah, I haven't set that up yet. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'd probably have to put it on top. Wouldn't work with inside the metal cabinet. I don't know. Whatever. And because I've got my solar analytics thing bodged up here, still haven't put in a case or anything. That's my solar analytics, which runs the four, RS-485 cable, not RS-232, RS-485 um, into here. DI, my inverter DI, run the RS-485 and the CAN bus on the same physical connector. So I've got to whack them in parallel. And because I couldn't physically fit this double adapter into here, whereas I could, I originally had it down here, but now I've got the gateway in there on the CAN bus. The gateway is on the CAN bus, so I couldn't physically fit it in. So I had to get an inline joiner to bodge that in. Um, so yeah, rate my setup. And because I haven't got a proper uh, USB power adapter at the moment, I'm powering it from external DC, which comes from <laughs> an external lab power supply. It's only drawing two watts. Um, so yeah, but anyway, uh, rate my bodge setup out of 10, please. Um, how bodged is this setup? I, I do, I've got to win some award for this, um, surely. So, um, yes, I'll just keep it like this. It works, although I'll fix the power adapter and I'll probably fix the Ethernet um, thing as well. Yeah, something wrong with the Ethernet coming out to the lab here. No, it's not what killed that um, CM4 compute module. I think it's just a DC to DC converter failure. Maybe triggered by an external USB or trying different USB sources. And I don't know, maybe one of them took it out or something. But anyway, <sighs> we've finally got the thing working and all of the firmware has now been updated because I had very early firmware in mine and uh, this battery down here um, you know it worked for a couple of months but it actually uh, like shut off and started flashing orange down here uh, for a while so I've actually had that out of action for a week or two that uh, battery and um, so we think it might be like a firmware compatibility like a firmware um, issue so anyway because I did buy um, some extra batteries um, for it after we got the regular ones installed uh, the original ones installed so maybe there was a mismatch but anyway you can update the firmware all remotely Peter's done that it's updated all the firmware I've got access to the new um, cloudy gateway um, thing which allows me to like to see all the stats for the batteries and stuff like that oh, I probably have to do a separate uh, video on that I won't do it here won't edit that in here but yeah anyway rate my bodge set up it's just oh it's terrible Muriel um but yeah it does now work so yeah bloody DI with their RS485 and CAN sharing the same connector and the gateway um the PCB on the gateway doesn't route all the connections over and you wouldn't expect it to so that's why um, this was this double adapter was working when I put it on this side of the gateway, but it went like the um, before I didn't have the gateway. Sorry, um, and but once I put the gateway in series, it didn't work on the output side of the gateway because the internal pins there's just two pins there for the RS485 uh, weren't actually joined um, through because that's a specific DI thing. That's not like an industry standard thing or whatever. So anyway, oh boy. They're back up and running now. Woohoo! So <laughs> I'm back in business with the latest firmware. Because, yeah, I had like very early firmware in these batteries. But finally, it's uh, taken us a long time to sort out these problems because we were having all sorts of um, issues caused by some things at my end, basically. <laughs> anyway, fantastic. Rate my bodge setup. Catch you next time.